What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're just going to go have some fun. I'm um, going to go fish the old pond behind me and uh, hopefully catch some big fish. As you guys could tell in the recent video, I uh, did a video on this bad boy on how to fish rattle traps. Well, I want to see if I can go catch me a good one on this today because I went out there that other day and caught one first cast on this bad boy. And I also hooked one that I said in the video is about four pounds, but me personally, I think it was bigger. I, I really, I got a glimpse of it, and then when I rewatched the video, I mean that thing was big. Personally, I think it was over five. We're gonna go out there and hopefully catch us a big one. I'm gonna be throwing this bad boy. I'm also gonna have like a drop shot on just to slow down if I have to. And uh, we're gonna cover a lot of water today. I'm not gonna really stay just in my backyard. We're gonna walk around, but we're just gonna have some fun overall. You know, I've been working. You know, just on everything so much and today it really hit me and last night it really hit me and I, I've been getting to the point where I'm so exhausted that it's ridiculous I'm in just a few hours of sleep every night for the past couple weeks just because I'm trying to be the best that I can be at everything and not just one thing um, I'm striving to be the best at everything so which with that being said that means you gotta put in the work you know there's no overnight success so that means I gotta go put in the work, put in as many hours as I can to strive. You know, I just got out of class, um, been in class all day, and I got a few hours until sunset. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna try to make a video for you guys. You know, as, as you guys know, I mean, I post three videos a week, I've been doing that consistently, and even though I'm exhausted right now, I've been at class all day, I got a lot of homework, I gotta go hit a two hour gym sesh, I gotta do all this stuff. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop. So let's go ahead and get out there. We're going to have some fun today and hopefully hook into a giant. Alrighty. First cast. See what we can do. That would just be insane if I caught another one on my first cast. I wish we had some wind out here today. It is very icy right here. Super slick. I'm going to start by working this bait a little bit fast. Figure out what those fish are doing. As I'm about to slow down, they might be eating it more aggressive today you never know these fish you just got to figure out it's one of those things when you go out on the water you can't just assume they're going to buy a jerk bait when you're jerking it you know it's <laughs> you gotta go out there you gotta figure them out figure out how they want that bait for that day oh he came off oh my god he murdered that thing I was just thinking about, I was about to get a bite right there. I'll jerk the rod out of my hand. I hate having the GoPro chest mount on when I'm, when I'm fishing. It can get aggravating because when I go to hook set, that dang camera's in the way. That's a good sign. I'm gonna pick up this drop shot. I've been throwing around that rattle trap, had that one bite. I'm gonna pick up this drop shot and move a slow bait. That's what I love to do, you know, throw my moving baits, see if I can get a reaction bite. If that doesn't work, you know, I'll switch up, throw something slow. See if I can go in and follow that rattle trap up with a slow moving bait. All right guys, just walked over to this other side of the pond. The reason I walked over here and what's really keying me off towards this part is the sun's right there. And it is 97 degrees outside right now. It is hot. And there's these trees. And the sun's coming this way. So this is perfect cover right here. And there should be some fish stacked up in this corner and uh, tucked up underneath these trees and all in the shade right here. Just makes the most sense, especially on a hot day like this, for the fish to be sitting in this corner. Let's see if we can catch a few right here. I didn't bring any more worms or camera batteries or anything, so I will have to walk back here in a minute. Let's see if we can catch one. I know there's one sitting in this corner. There he is. I don't know, he's pretty small. Yeah, he came off. <laughs> that was a small one, but the way I was working that was pretty crazy. I was throwing it out there, jerking it like this, kind of ripping it. God, he smashed it. These fish are so hard to keep hooked on this rattle trap. It's ridiculousness. Fairly annoying. I mean, yeah, that one caught me off guard, but still, uh, I've lost so many fish on a rattle trap. It's ridiculous, but at least they're biting it. Just a reaction. At least that wasn't a monster that I just lost like the other day. There he is. 
I don't think it's a bass. Gosh, he's a decent one. There we go. That was the next cast right after I said that. Same spot. He ate it on the fall. I didn't even jerk it yet, and he already had it in his mouth. That's not a bad fish at all, guys. Very pretty. Nothing huge, but gosh, he felt monstrous. He wasn't tugging at all. It was just the way I had him hooked, but what a pretty fish. It was literally right when I hit the start button on the record. I like reeled in my slack. He was already on there. This little bad boy, this rattle trap. This might be a really productive way to catch them out here. You see, I've never tried it out here. That's the thing. You got to just experiment with new baits. And when I go pond fishing, I kind of get in the zone where I don't really want to throw many baits. I just kind of want to stick to one. That's just non lake fishing. Don't get me wrong, but pond fishing, that's usually what I do. It's a bad habit. I need to start switching up more, but I literally decided to make a tackle Tuesday over this video. Found out that these fish are really liking this rattle trap and it is coming around, I mean, that time of year where they're gonna start eating this rattle trap, but God, I didn't expect them to start eating it this good. Maybe we'll start just whacking them on it. Maybe it was just the way I was working that that fall and then jerk up on it and he just grabs it. That was two fish in the same spot right over there. Stupid people spraying chemicals. You see that guys? That's chemicals getting dropped in the water. I'm getting out. I can smell it coming back out here. I just went in the house for a second. I don't know if those chemicals are harmful towards us or what they are. So I just want to go inside. I could, I mean, I could smell it. It was strong and I could see the stuff hitting in the water. So we're bubbling and popping. You can see just a little few spots now, but uh, I don't know. It's better to be safe than sorry. Plus, I was getting super hot. Like I said, it was 97 degrees out here. It's getting a little cooler out. And I'm hoping, I'm thinking this is going to be the prime time for these fish. You know, that sun just kind of tucked down behind the trees. I'm hoping these fish are just going to start chewing. You usually get a little feeding frenzy, you know. And I'm hoping these fish are going to just start munching. Go. I don't know what's right there in the water, but I have a feeling it's about to eat my rattle trap, that's for sure. God, it's an expensive rattle trap too. Yep. Go. That sucks right there. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go tie a different colored one on. And I guess we'll just keep on trying to catch some. I actually tied on this sexy shad, um, sartreuse, red eye shad. Try this bad boy out. Maybe they'll even eat this one even better. This isn't a one knocker, so. Who knows, they might want this even better and we might end up whacking them with this color even, even more. You never know, you gotta switch it up. Try something new every once in a while. <clears throat> there we go. Destroyed that thing. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Choke that bad boy. That's how you know they want it. It's so hard to get those hooks out without pliers. Look at that. That's a little thick guy. That one's not as big as the last one, but gosh, he's he's got a thick body. Pretty little fish. He slammed that thing. Whew, that was tough. I'm like so hot. It just got dark. I'm giving the best that I can give you guys. I literally don't have any time anymore, and I'm just trying my best. I don't get that much time to go out there and fish and when I do I have a few hours before dark because of class and I mean it sucks gosh it sucks but I want to show you guys a few things before I even start to sign off this video I got a few things uh, yesterday installed and it's just sick I just want to show you this bad boy right here as you know I got two of them I have one up in my room I'll show you that in a minute and I got this one they're 50 inch smart TVs. So I don't watch, I don't have cable because it was gonna be like 150 bucks extra a month. And so I didn't wanna pay for it. And so I got a smart TV, I already have Netflix and I can watch YouTube on here. So currently I'm always, I was watching YouTube. I was watching the Elite series. This TV is sick. I haven't watched TV in I believe like six years. So it feels kind of weird to watch TV. I just bought these TVs because I was like, man, this house is too plain without like a TV right there in the middle and then right without a TV up in my room. But it has literally been about five, six years since I watched TV, just being honest. Like I haven't, I mean, I watched the Super Bowl. What else? 
Well, that's about it. I don't watch TV. I haven't had time to. And I don't even know why I got these TVs because I really don't have time. Only time I want to be watching this is like when I'm cooking my food and waiting for it to cook. Or if I'm doing homework, I can sit here and watch a little bit. Like, I don't know. But the TVs are sick. I mean, I don't know if I'm just going crazy because I haven't watched TV in like five, six years. Or these TVs are just sick. But, like, I can search anything on YouTube. I can search anything. Or Netflix. I already had Netflix. You can watch whatever on Netflix. You have all the apps. Um, you know, ESPN's on there. It's just sick. I don't know. I dig it. I want to show you the one upstairs real quick, though. This is the one upstairs in my room. Tell me how cool that setup is. It's perfect with my bed. And just... Dang. That, that is so... It, like, ended up lining up perfect. I don't have, like, any cable box because it's a smart TV and I'm using, like, Netflix and everything. Man. That just... That just looks perfect. Overall, guys, I think I'm gonna sign out, sign out the vlog. I apologize for such a short video, and I apologize for only a few fish catches. That's literally the only time that I had to be out there. And I've just been grinding. I've been, you know, hustling just every single day and doing the best I can with everything I'm doing. You know, getting three videos out a week to you guys. Trying my best with that. Communicating with sponsors. Trying to get some different sponsors communicating with different people. You know, I got school going on, I got practice going on. Um, I'm going to the gym every day now. I've been 52 days straight. I haven't ate out in like 52 days, rather than one occasion where I ate with a family. It, I've just been grinding, guys. Being the best that I could be at everything that I'm doing. And I feel great. And I just want to look back on this like five months from now and just see everything that I have accomplished. And it's just going to be awesome. But I wish you guys and hope you guys will do the same. And strive to be the best that you can be at everything that you're doing. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to comment below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way yeah. Nigga say I say it